Good afternoon, or morning rather. So we're back with the JVC again. And this has been prompted by some of the findings that I had with the um, Ferguson 3V22s. It seems that my servo problem um, also seemed to exhibit itself on the 3V22s as well as this JVC HR3660 which is the equivalent of the Ferguson 3V16. It is the model that the 3V16 is actually based on. So if you cast your mind back to the last video, we were having problems trying to get uh, a definite servo lock. And I've replaced every capacitor on that servo board, um, but it seemed that I wasn't getting the correct voltage on the actual servo to the capstan uh, control itself. I wasn't actually getting, uh, I think it was, let's have a look at the test notes, which are, that's exploded parts, repacking, here we are, this is electronic testing, that's physical testing, electronic adjustments. So on the capstan, you should be getting Check that the capstan DC in voltage is 5 volts approximately. And where was it? Playback switching point, capstan switching points. There was. Yeah, so we were getting about 4. Point something volts. So actually, if you have a look, so. Sorry, that was it. Set the speed for flask playback mode and adjust R109 speed position for 6.0 plus or minus 2 volts DC. We were getting 6 volts on that one, but we weren't getting 6 volts for normal position. We were getting about 5.8. So that's going to take us back to the beginning of the electronic adjustment section. And we're going to take a look at the unregulated 18 volt DC supply. So it says you have to set the unit to record mode and check that the DC voltage is eight, 18 volts plus or minus two volts. And that is connector 64. Connector 64 is, I think it's on this board here. However, if we go to the end of this section, you have these fold-outs, which, there we go. So this will actually tell you what is what as regards connections. So connector 64, we're looking for fig 5, 6.3. So 5, 5, 7, 2, 5, 70, 5, 6, 9, 5, 6, 7. So we need to find where 5, 6, 3 is. That's annoying, it doesn't seem to be there. So, connector voltage, connect DC to the regulator board, shown in 563. If I go back again to this section, this is the regulator printed circuit board. So, and that is 64 there. So, connector 64. Is going to be, I think, not that one. Is it this one? I'm not sure. It's looking at the shape of the board, step up, and you've got R11. If I should bring the camera around to it a bit further, a bit closer, and zoom in on it. Let's take a look at what we have. So we're looking at we've got R12. Uh, 18, 
connector, AC in. DC out. So there is an 18 volt part on that DC out. It might be that one that we're looking at. And there should be two test points, TP1 and TP2, of which there are. There's one there and one there. So we need to grab our multimeter, wherever I've put it, which is in my hand now. Set this to DC, which it is, and connect DC voltmeter to connect to 64 on the printed circuit board shown in figure 563, which actually looks like it's 567, and set the unit to record and check that the DC voltage is set to 18 volts plus or minus 2 volts. So I've got a tape here, I'm actually going to fast forward that, or actually let's see if I've got a blank tape, it's probably better to use a tape that doesn't have something on it that we might want to keep. So give me a couple of seconds, I'll just go and grab a blank cassette. So I've got a blank cassette, here it is. Uh, not sure if they're still at that address. Sony United Kingdom Limited, The Heights, Brooklands, Weybridge, Surrey, KT130XW. So not sure if they're still there or not. Anyway, let's get into this. First time this has ever been opened from its shrink wrap. Well, some people like seeing unwrapping videos for some reason. Oh, it's been unwrapped. Oh, wow. Oh, he's done it wrong because he didn't pull that tab thing. Oh, no. I'm going to comment on the comment. You've done it wrong. Ah, swear words. Ah. Oh no, you're removing it incorrectly from the cassette. Ah. Ah. There we are. From the later range of cassettes that were a little bit more, how can I put this, conservative with their uh, sticker use or stickers supplied. The early cassettes, you got um, stickers like this, but you also got one that fitted on there. And you've got the peel-off letters and numbers that you could put on. That form cassette that I've got from uh, 1982 um, has all of those sort of things on it. Anyway, let's set this to record. There it goes. Right, that's now recording. So let's go to that 18 volt supply. Let's put the multimeter up against the screwdriver so you can see the display. So let's earth it onto the chassis and we're looking at I think this 18 volt one here. So it says plus or minus two volts. That is showing, although you can't really see, oh yeah you can there, 17.61 volts. I think that's plus or minus two volts. So that does seem to be recording at the uh, correct rate. So now it says adjust, adjustment of 12 volt DC power supply. So connect a DC voltmeter to TP1 on the regulator circuit. Set the unit to record mode and adjust R11, the 12 volt adjust, so the DPC voltage of TP1 is at 12 volts plus or minus 0.1 volts so that needs to be as close to 12 as possible. TP1 is this one. At the moment TP1 is showing 11.98 so that really needs to be adjusted. It should be 11.99 or 12, as close as possible. So we need to find R11. R11 is apparently here. So this is R11, that's 12 volt adjustment. So we need to get a very small screwdriver to go and adjust that, which I shall now go and locate. In fact, let's zoom in on that, you can actually see 
where it is. So you see those three, see the three pin connector next to the screw? There is a triangular set of legs which belong to a potentiometer. That's our 12 volt adjust. Right, let's get that sorted. Right, so we've got a suitable screwdriver. Let's pop this into here. See if there's a way we can keep this located in place. We'll probably do it by moving the multimeter against the negative post. We can then go to test point one. Ensure that we're getting our voltage. I'll actually zoom out again so that was getting a bit flash there. Go into whoa, go into our test point again go into here where are your test point sorry that's test point two test point one there we go that's down oh that's too high 12.3 11.84 very slowly adjust 11.88 11.92 12 12.03 it's too high again 12.6 12.1 12 12.1 fluctuating between 12.1 oh it's staying on 12.1 so it's got to be 12 volts DC plus or minus 0 0.1 volts so we're there it then says connect the oscilloscope to TPO1 verify the ripple is less than five millivolts well we don't have that so we can't okay so check of the unregulated 46 volt dc power supply connect a dc meter to connector 81 on the board 81 is this one so 81 is actually marked here and i think i need to bump the multimeter up a bit there we go that's currently showing 44 volts set the unit to record and check that the DC voltage is 46 volts plus or minus 0 0.1 volts so already I can tell you that we've got a problem there that should be reading 46 or 45.9 that's reading 44 that is not great and will probably be part of our problem so we'll probably need to take a further look at this regulator board check of the 7 volt AC power supply so we need now to go to AC voltage which will be up there I think and connect an AC voltmeter between connector 42 and 43 as shown in figure Oh yeah, 42, 43. You can see it there, actually. So, 42, 43. So that will be on the board. I think this one here. So, I think we need to measure against both of those. It's going to be these two middle ones here and here. That's currently reading 0. 0, uh, sorry, 6.3 volts. That should be reading 7. Oh, check the AC voltage is within 6 to 9 volts, so 6.3 volts, so it is within, but it's not perfect. So the problem is with that 46 volt line, we're not getting 46 volts. We're getting our 18 and we're getting our 12. If I go to... 18 volt leg uh, 
which is I don't know what was this one. Well, that's the forty-six volt leg, so we're not getting that. Test point one. Sorry, that's because I'm measuring it with the DC voltage, not alternating. So that is registering seventeen-ish. Test point one is now registering. Twelve point oh one, and it was the forty six volt unregulated supply. That's connector eighty one. That was the one I think that was not showing correctly. So forty six volts on eighty one. To jump up again. Forty three. 44 yeah that's plus that should be plus or minus uh, plus or minus 0 0.1 volts so it looks like we're getting irregular voltages from this particular board so I think we may have found possibly the root cause of some of our playback problems so let's just rewind this tape back to the beginning put it away again there we go next episode I'm going to be removing this particular board and we're going to have a look at it and see what's involved what components we need to replace probably be starting with the electrolytics anyway if you found this video interesting don't forget to hit that like button um, basically this is just sort of like a bit of an insight into uh, testing certain components on a video recorder and also emphasizes that don't just look at the fault or the fault that seems to be exhibited. Don't go to the circuit where that fault would typically be adjusted out from. Go back, all the way back to the beginning. And in this case, the beginning is the power supply and the power regulation. And it does seem that we do have a problem with this regulator circuit. Anyway, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.